Hey guys, what's good? So, if you go very far back on this channel, you will find a few videos on the first soft robotic actuator I ever made. It was a small actuator that extended linearly when inflated called the NewNet's Extending Actuator. I had documentation for it on the Soft Robotics Toolkit, but recently decided to revisit the project to make it better. So, without further ado, here's the updated version. Let's start on how to build it. Once you have the three parts of the mold printed, snap together the top and bottom pieces and clamp either side. Then mix up some Moldmax 10T silicone. This is a different silicone from what I normally use in my projects in that it's much less soft than a material like Ecoflex 30. It is also mixed in a ratio of 10 to 1, meaning if you have 10 grams of part A, you should mix it with 1 gram of part B. For the main mold, you're going to need about 130 grams. So start by mixing 120 grams of part A and 12 grams of part B. Stir it thoroughly. Drizzle the resin into the mold slowly and steadily, taking short breaks to let any bubbles rise out. Let it cure for about 24 hours. Once it's cured, trim off any flash and use a flathead screwdriver to trim apart the mold. Now that the bottom piece is out, use the screwdriver to peel the cast out of the mold. Take the base mold and fill that with more mold max. Place the part you just demolded into it, making sure it fits inside the rims of the base mold. Let it cure for another 24 hours. Once it's cured, you can peel it up and out of the mold. Insert some 1 8 inch tubing, secure it with a zip tie, and you're done. To make it extend, inflate the actuator with some air source. The zigzag pattern of its structure makes it push against itself and stretch out. I want to take a minute to discuss the improvements from the original version. First off, the original was made from Ecoflex 20, which is significantly softer than the Mold Max 10 I am using for the current version. This makes the actuator's motion much more linear, preventing buckling, and also makes it spring back more when deflated. Additionally, in the previous version, the arches of the zigzag had an angle that was probably a bit too big, which is fixed in the newer one. Lastly, the original relied on the elasticity of the silicone to keep the tubing in the actuator. This wasn't very airtight, so the newer version has a sleeve and uses a zip tie to make the connection. Anyways guys, if you want to build one of these yourself, I'll have the link in the description to the page on the Soft Robotics Toolkit, which instructs how to build it in more detail. If you like this video, then you should know what to do, and if you want to follow my work into the future, then subscribe. I'll catch you later, XYZ Aiden, out.